chunk I'm a patch and a journey and I want to address something in this short video about uh, licensing of inventions of inventors come come up with uh, come up with um, I get this question quite a bit uh, from my clients and I know it is in the mind of many inventors um, okay if I spend my time and resources uh, uh, developing an invention uh, can what can I do uh, how can I monetize uh, can I license it um, in this short video I want to give you a few uh, tips and uh, from my my experience as a passionate attorney for for many years now and dealing with my clients and helping my clients do so uh, um, and, and I'm hoping this this video uh, will uh, provide you some guidance on how you can move forward uh, and, and plan on monetizing your, your invention. What I learn working with my clients uh, is that uh, the best chances of, of licensing uh, an invention is uh, in the hands of um, the inventor who is, uh, who is a veteran of the respective uh, uh, technology of the respective industry uh, the invention pertains to. Um, so uh, I had clients with many years of experience in a particular field, uh, then uh, they invented something on their own and they were able to license that uh, particular invention to uh, large companies for, for serious uh, royalties and uh, other, other uh, benefits. Um, what I learned is that the reason for, for them being successful is it's, uh, it's uh, twofold. Um, first, it's uh, the fact that, that uh, being industry veterans, they have the right contacts, right, in the particular industry. So they, they know who to reach out to, to uh, promote their invention, to promote their, uh, to, to pitch their, uh, their uh, product that they invented or service or method. Um, and so that's number one, right? They have the right contacts. And uh, number two, they have credibility, right? Because they are industry veterans. Some of them worked in the industry for decades. So uh, they have a high degree of credibility uh, when it comes to uh, promoting their own invention now because they have professional experience, right? They are that knowledgeable, they're an expert in the field. So they have a, a very high degree of credibility when they pitch their, uh, their invention to uh, potential, potential licensees. Uh, so so this, this are, these are the, 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 the main factors that really allows if somebody to uh, factor, uh, to uh, license successfully their, their product or, or invention. I, I'm see, I, I have seen cases also uh, uh, with, with my clients uh, where uh, they are not, their inventions are not only licensed by, by large companies, but uh, the inventor himself is, is solicited by this large company, by this license, licensor, uh, to come on board and uh, help the company develop the product, launch the product. Um, so th uh, therefore, the, the, the inventor collects not only royalties on their invention, but also they collect a salary or a, or a consultant uh, fee for helping the company uh, develop uh, and, and launching and selling the respective uh, product or, or, or service. Uh, so, so now the question, of course, in, in the minds of many will be, okay, if I'm not that person, what can I do? Do I have a shot? Do I have a chance of licensing uh, my invention? Uh, I think in short the answer is yes, uh, but, but uh, be aware that the, the effort will be a little bit uh, greater, right? Uh, probably uh, financially because you will, need, you will need to hire somebody with that uh, industry experience, uh, maybe a consultant that is an industry veteran, uh, so they have the credibility that is, is needed to pitch, to pitch the respective invention to the, the important uh, players in that particular field. And uh, 
they have also the right contacts, right? Being an industry veteran, a consultant has uh, uh, the right contacts and, and he knows uh, who to contact and who to pitch the, the invention to for a potential uh, licensing deal or, uh, you know, uh, straight buyout of the entire uh, rights in the invention, um, which happens uh, sometimes as well. So yeah, um, again, to summarize, if you're an industry veteran, um, you are likely to be successful in licensing your, 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 your invention. Um, if you are not, it's gonna be a little bit harder, but not impossible. Uh, be aware you're only gonna need to hire some help, like a consultant that has that industry uh, experience and the right contacts. I hope this helps. Uh, I wish you good luck. Mm -hmm.